Welcome back to U.S. Cellular Field. We are just moments away from first pitch, the A's and the Chicago White Sox. Well, we're pleased to be joined now by Brody Brazil. And Brody, uh, some people say the art of the stolen base is kind of a lost art. You're here to tell us that it's not, right? Well, Glenn, the A's have always realized the importance of hitters with a high on base percentage, mm -hmm. but it's also important to get those runners to turn into runs. In this first of a three-part series, we talk base running with A's outfielder, Shannon Stewart. All right, we're here to talk base running today with a guy that likes to get on base, A's outfielder, Shannon Stewart. And Shane, let's just start right at the top. Say you're at bat, you put a ball in the gap, you're thinking double. How do you properly run down the first base line and round first base? If you hit a ball in the gap, I mean, your first two steps, you really want to bust out the box hard. And as you're rounding, as you're rounding first base, you don't want to make a wide turn, because a wider turn is going to, going to allow you to take more time to get to the next base. So you want to make a, a quick a wide with a quick turn. The key is to make sure you hit the in inside of the bag. I mean, you can hit it with your right or left. You know, it depends on how, you, how your steps are. Sometimes, sometimes I hit the ball, hit the bag with my left foot, you know, and, and hit, go to second base. Or sometimes, you know, for some reason, I might take my, hit it with my right foot. It's just a matter of, of the stride. Let's talk about taking a lead. Uh, do you take the same size lead every time? Well, I try to get four, this is four and a half steps. So when I get on first base, and I'll count, go one, two, three, and then like a little half step four. And I try to make sure I get to the cut, the cut of the bag, or the cut of the grass to make sure that I get to my maximum lead. I don't want to get too far. If I get, if I get too fast past the cut of the, the grass, it's probably too big, and probably has a good chance of picking me off. Now we're really going to have to pretend here that I'm pitching, OK? But uh, say I'm in the stretch. Uh, tell me what are you looking for as far as, say you are stealing a base, what are you looking for in terms of when to go? So here I am in the stretch. There I see you. Now what are you looking at right now? I might, I might look at your shoulder because mm -hmm. you, might, you might tend, from that position, you might tend to close in and then go home. Exactly. Right. Or some guys like, some guys like kind of pick their knee up first okay. and, then, and then come home. Or some guys just, just rock, they kind of like rock back. Okay. So your ba the, the big thing for you, though, is the shoulder. Because if, if it comes back, that means I'm stepping off and exactly. I'm going to first base. Exactly. All right, so here we are. For the sake of pretending, let's just say you were on second and uh, Chavez or uh, Swish just uh, hit a bloop single. So you're probably looking to score on this play. What are you looking at? Because there's a lot going on. There's the ball in play. There's Latch, the third base coach. And then there's obviously you want to touch third base as well. So what do you? how do you divide your attention? My first thing, my first thing is... A is the, you know, I say two outs, as soon as soon as you hit the ball, I get my shuffle, he hits the ball, I'm gone. I start running. I immediately pick up Latch, and I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what Latch is doing. I'm not, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm not looking at the ball. I'm not looking at, 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 at the plate out there. I'm just watching Latch. And as soon as I hit the bag, he should be telling me to either go home or, or hold me up. He should be waving me or he should be holding me up. It's his decision, you know? So when you get thrown out of the plate, <laughs> Not it's, on, on you. it's on latch. Because if I run hard, it's on latch. That's A's outfielder and a base runner extraordinaire, Shannon Stewart. Shannon, thanks for your time. Hey, thanks, Appreciate bro. it. Appreciate right. it. Glenn, my thanks to A's outfielder Shannon Stewart for letting me play dress up and, of course, give me some <laughs> inside you look good. information. You look good. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue this series tomorrow night. It's going to be uh, hitting with, of course, A's hitting coach Ty Van Brooklyn. Great stuff, Brody. We'll thanks. look forward to seeing that tomorrow night. Thanks, Glenn. Ball game is just about set to get started here from Chicago. to be Joe Blanton on the mound for the Athletics. He will be opposed by White Sox right-hander Jose Contreras. A's, White Sox, game one of the three-game series coming up next.